Ever wondered how much of our mental health is predetermined by our genes? Stick around as we explore this intriguing topic in depth. Remember to like, subscribe and comment below to share your thoughts and experiences on this topic. Mental health is a complex interplay of various factors and genetics play a significant role. Today, we're going to unpack the extent to which our mental well, Belling is influenced by the DNA we inherit from our parents. We'll explore various mental health conditions and the genetic threads that may or may not link them. Understanding the genetic basis of mental health can help in developing more effective treatments and interventions. This video aims to shed light on the scientific insights and ongoing research concerning the genetic aspects of mental health. We will delve into studies that highlight how our genes could predispose us to certain mental health challenges. By exploring the genetic foundations of mental health, we aim to demystify the causes and development of mental health issues. This understanding is crucial for breaking down stigma and fostering a more empathetic society. We will also consider how environmental factors interact with our genetic makeup to influence our mental health. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of whether mental health is genetic. Genes certainly play a role in determining our risk for developing certain mental health conditions such as depression, bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. Numerous studies have identified specific genetic variations that are more common in people with these disorders compared to those without them. These genetic markers, however, do not guarantee that a person will develop a mental health condition. They simply increase the risk. It's the combination of these genetic predispositions and one's life experiences that ultimately influences the likelihood of developing a mental health issue. This interaction between genes and environment is key to understanding the complexity of mental health. For instance, someone might have a genetic predisposition for depression, but never experience it because they live in a supportive environment. Conversely, another individual with the same genetic markers might suffer from severe depression due to additional stresses in their life. This illustrates the concept of gene-environment interaction, which is central to the study of mental health genetic. Research into the genetics of mental health is continually evolving. Scientists use tools like genome-wide association studies, GWAAS, to identify specific gene variants associated with mental health conditions. These studies involve scanning complete sets of DNA, or genomes, from many people to find genetic markers that might be linked to specific diseases. One of the challenges in this research is the sheer complexity of the human brain and its functions. Mental health conditions are not caused by a single gene, but likely by many genes working together. Plus, each gene might contribute only a small effect, which makes detecting and understanding these influences quite complicated. Another important aspect of research is looking at how genes might affect the brain's structure and chemistry. For example, certain genes might influence how neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine are processed, which in turn could affect a person's mood and risk of depression. Treatment strategies are also being informed by genetic findings. For instance, pharmacogenomics is an emerging field that looks at how genes affect a person's response to drugs. This could one day lead to personalized medicine, where treatments are tailored to an individual's genetic profile, potentially improving the effectiveness of treatment for mental health conditions. Moreover, it's important to note that having a family history of mental health issues does not doom an individual to the same fate. Genetic risk factors are just one piece of the puzzle. Lifestyle choices, coping strategies and environmental influences also play critical roles in mental health. In conclusion, while genetics do play a significant role in mental health, they are not the sole determinants. A combination of genetic predispositions and environmental factors shapes our mental health. Understanding this can help reduce stigma and lead to more effective interventions. 
Exploring the advantages and disadvantages of genetic testing for mental health conditions can provide clearer insights. One major advantage is the potential for early identification of risks. Knowing one's genetic predisposition can lead to proactive management and monitoring, potentially mitigating the impact or even preventing the onset of a mental health condition. However, there are also significant disadvantages, one of which is the potential for genetic discrimination. Individuals may face discrimination based on their genetic information in areas like employment and insurance. This fear can deter people from opting for genetic testing, losing the opportunity for early intervention. Another advantage of understanding the genetic links to mental health is the customization of treatment. Treatments can potentially be tailored to the individual's genetic makeup, enhancing the effectiveness of therapeutic strategies. This personalization could transform treatment plans from generic to highly specific modalities. On the downside, there's the psychological impact of knowing one's genetic risk. It can lead to anxiety or fatalism, where individuals feel an inescapable doom about their future mental health. This can affect their overall quality of life and may cause distress beyond the potential benefits of knowing their genetic information. Genetic research can also lead to better overall understanding and awareness of mental health conditions. As research progresses, public knowledge can increase, potentially reducing stigma around these conditions. More informed discussions about mental health can foster a more supportive environment for those affected Conversely, there's a risk of oversimplification. People might start attributing complex mental health issues to genetics alone, ignoring environmental and personal factors. This reductionist view can undermine the efforts to address other crucial aspects of mental health, such as lifestyle and social support. Another advantage is the potential for community and support network building. Individuals who discover they are genetically predisposed to certain conditions can find others with similar predispositions. This can foster a sense of community and provide mutual support, which is invaluable for mental health resilience. However, the accessibility of genetic testing poses another disadvantage. There's an inequality in access to genetic testing and subsequent personalized treatments, which can be expensive. This could widen the gap in mental health support between different socioeconomic groups, leading to disparities in mental health care. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment, as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to the question, is mental health genetic? In the UK, a young man named Tom discovered through genetic counseling that he had a higher genetic counseling, that he had a higher genetic risk for bipolar disorder, a condition his mother had struggled with. Armed with this knowledge, he took proactive steps to manage his mental health, including regular consultations with a mental health professional, adopting a healthy lifestyle and participating in mindfulness and stress reduction techniques. Tom's approach exemplifies the integration of genetic information with practical health management. He joined a support group for those at risk of bipolar disorder, where he learned coping strategies and received encouragement from peers. This proactive management significantly helped him maintain a stable mental state and he has been successful in pursuing a fulfilling career and building supportive relationships, demonstrating the power of awareness and proactive mental health management. If you're concerned about how genetics may affect your mental health, consider speaking with a healthcare provider about genetic counselling. This can provide you with valuable insights into your personal risk factors and help you develop a targeted approach to your mental health care. Additionally, staying informed and seeking support from community groups or online forums can be beneficial. These steps can empower you to manage your mental health proactively, just like Tom. Another practical step is to maintain a healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise, a balanced diet, and sufficient sleep, all of which can have a positive impact on your mental health. Building a strong support network of family and friends who understand your concerns about mental health can also provide a crucial safety net.
If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps us to bring more informative content to you and reach a wider audience. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you for watching.